it is, Lane. What do you want to do tonight? The same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. This is Justin from You Are Creators, and in this segment, I'm going to teach you how to develop a prosperity consciousness and become a money magnet. There are inner laws and outer laws regarding money, but I will only be discussing the inner laws because the inner laws forms your financial blueprint. Let's be honest here. Our world is completely built and structured around money. In the modern society we live in, if you don't have enough money to meet your needs, life becomes extremely stressful and hectic because everything costs money. It is my belief that the lack of money is the root of all evil, the lack of money. Most marriage problems stems from the lack of money. Most stress-related illnesses stems from the lack of money. In any neighborhood, when the employment rate goes down, the crime rate goes up because people are scratching to survive. Since most people don't understand the inner or mental laws regarding prosperity, they struggle obtaining financial security. Some people have jobs, but they still feel trapped like a rat in a cage. They become nine to five slaves forced into the rat race. Wouldn't it be easier to wake up on your own time and travel the world collecting your life experiences of course money isn't the most important thing but it's right up there with water money is very important whether some people want to admit that or not and since the financial system isn't changing anytime soon it would be in your best interest to understand how your mind is either attracting or repelling prosperity the one thing having an abundance of money can give you is freedom. Remember, you are a soul that has a body that came here to have a human experience. It's impossible to have a full life experience if you do not have the time and means to have those experiences. Wallace D. Wattles once said, no man or woman can rise to his greatest possible height in talent or soul development unless he has plenty of money. For to unfold the soul and to develop talent, he must have many things to use. And he cannot have these things unless he has money to buy them. I'm here to show you how your mind is a magnet. A magnet that either attracts or repels the prosperity you seek. Yes, I'm saying you will literally attract money by creating a prosperity consciousness. This is the exact information I used to transform my financial situation. After utilizing the knowledge that I'm presenting to you, my financial income began to soar. At the age of 25, I was able to break out of the rat race and create a multiple six-figure income for myself. Actually, I am now on my way to making my first million this year, and I'm not even 30. I'm not special, but I am determined to live the life that I know I deserve. Let's begin. If we are to build a prosperity consciousness, we have to understand the unfailing and mysterious law of attraction. This law states, whatever we continually project in thought, word, and feeling, we will eventually attract back into our lives. Basically stating, 
we will become and attract what we think about. If we are thinking lack and poverty, we will attract situations of lack and poverty. If we are speaking of drought and hard times, we will draw to us more drought and hard times. If we are feeling prosperous and abundant, we will attract situations and circumstances that will bring us prosperity and abundance. It's that simple. Since this is the case, it's time to train your subconscious mind to only think and speak about prosperity and abundance and completely ignore the false illusion of lack. Think about this. Poverty is a man-made concept. God or the universe knows no lack. There is more than enough for every man, woman, and child. Look at nature. It only knows abundance. When a fruit tree bears fruit, it bears more than we are capable of eating. More than enough. Look at your lawn. There are more blades of grass than we can ever count. Nature screams abundance. The only thing stopping you is your belief and feelings of lack. See, what you feel deeply, you attract into your life. Because feeling is the force that attracts. If you feel prosperous, you are in the process of attracting prosperity. If you feel poor, you will attract situations that will bring you more poverty. This is why the rich keep getting richer and the poor remain in the perpetual state of poverty. As the great master teacher Jesus once said, to him who have much more is given and to him who does not have even that which he has is taken away. Basically stating, those that have an abundance will keep attracting more based on their feelings of abundance. And those that are in lack will continue to think lack thoughts and attract the same. One tool we can use to affect the way we feel towards prosperity and abundance is our words. There is a tremendous amount of power in the spoken word, especially if they are repeated. Joseph Murphy in his book, The Power of the Subconscious Mind, he suggests saying the words wealth, prosperity, abundance over and over and over again to ourselves silently multiple times a day. Saying these words impresses the subconscious mind. We must change our vocabulary in order to change our bank accounts. Take out the words lack and poverty from your vocabulary. Don't ever say you can't afford something or things are too expensive. Words are energy and the subconscious is always listening. What you say is what you get. Instead, play make believe like a child. Start saying, I am prosperous. I am abundant. I always have more than enough money. These are sometimes called affirmations. Affirmations are sentences or mantras aimed at changing your conscious and subconscious mind. The more you say an affirmation, the more you begin to believe the affirmation, regardless of it being true at that moment. Any affirmation used on a daily basis eventually seeps into the subconscious mind. Once entered into the subconscious mind, it becomes a belief. At the end of this dialogue, I will give you a list of prosperity affirmations that I personally use on a daily basis. It takes a thought to form a word. And thoughts and words affect how we feel. 
and what you feel deeply, you impress on the subconscious mind. And your subconscious mind creates your habits and beliefs. See, the thoughts that you think and the words that you speak forms your patterns of belief. What do you believe? If you are raised to believe that money is evil or wicked, you will have subconscious roadblocks preventing money from sticking to you. If you believe that money is good and easy to come by, you will have ample amounts of evidence that proves you right. See, what you believe creates your reality. Based on the universal law of attraction, you will begin to attract the people, situations, and circumstances that you believe on a subconscious level. So the question is, how do I change my beliefs? You reprogram your subconscious through repetition. Say or think anything long enough and you'll eventually start to believe it. It doesn't even have to be true at the time. As Abraham would say, a belief is only a thought you continue to think. If you want a brand new belief, choose a brand new thought and say it and think it over and over again. Another way to develop a prosperity consciousness is to visualize wealth. The subconscious mind is easily fooled. So when you visualize an image in your mind of a wealthy life, it can't tell the difference between what's real and what's imaginary. That's why if you visualize jumping off a cliff, you can actually feel a drop in your stomach. Or if you visualize squeezing a lemon in your mouth, you actually start to salivate. Thus, if you visualize wealth and prosperity, you trick the mind into feeling as if you already have that wealth. You begin to vibrate with it. And what you vibrate with, you attract into your life. The physical world is a direct reflection of the mind. And the images we perpetually visualize eventually manifest in the outside world, almost to a T. I can honestly say that the life that I used to visualize four years ago is the exact life I'm living now. So if you want a wealthy life, you need to start painting the picture of what that looks like. Make the images as real as possible. Feel as if it's already a fact. And in due time, you will attract the people, opportunities, and situations that will make your vision a reality. Last but not least, become a giver. The universal law of giving and receiving is always in effect. If you give some of what you have, you'll never go without. It's impossible. Giving is a sure way of making sure prosperity always finds you. You get what you give. Now, don't give with the intention of getting. Give with a pure heart of simply loving to give. And in due time, it will be returned to you multiplied from different sources. Here are a list of prosperity affirmations that I personally use. These affirmations have had a dramatic effect on my beliefs and manifestations of financial abundance. Say these affirmations every day, throughout the day, with feeling and authority. One, I always have enough money to share and to spare. Two, every day in every way, my wealth is increasing. Three, money comes to me easily and effortlessly. Four, 
I have more money than I know what to do with. Five, my income is constantly increasing. Don't just say these affirmations, but feel them. Repeat them so often that they begin to roll off of your tongue. I understand that this lifestyle isn't for everyone. Some people like the bare minimum, while others enjoy lavish abundance. It's all preference. I can only speak from my experience. And just like the great Warren Buffett once said, I have been poor and I have been rich. And I can tell you, 